Hey, it's Ed here. On today's video, we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin with Editway Theory. On this video, we're taking a look at the macro to micro structures and seeing what kind of opportunities there is and have been on the very local structures. So let's start here on the a bit higher time frame, on four hour time frame at this moment, and again using the Bitcoin uh, perpetual futures uh, on Binance. Um, at this point, again, we've been talking about quite a lot about something like this as an ABC. This would be a very much more bear count where this structure over here would be something of this. Um, and then we would be looking to create a structure like that. It is very much possible, uh, but I'm not going to go too detail into that at this point, but just recognize the possibility that we have a potential structure in here where it ends. And um, obviously if this is the end of C, uh, we have already taken out the highs meaning that this is not, or if this is still part of the previous structure, it is not end of the whole move, meaning this um, structure. But let's not talk about that today. Um, let's talk about the other structures that have the possibility of having a WXY count on the higher time frame ending here on November 2022. Uh, since then, again, we have still very many um, counts to be had and all of them are unfortunately still valid. So let's go through all of them. Um, regardless of what the count is to become, we still have the opportunities locally. So again, we don't really need to be worrying about the higher time frame. What brings um, or what comes of it later is going to be seen anyway. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be playing the higher time frames anyway. The smaller time frames are where the money's at and um, that's what we're going to be playing. But just to get a good glimpse of the higher time frame and trying to understand what are the possibilities. One of them is the WXY counts that we talked about, ABC into W, three ways down into X, and then ABC here. Um, this is definitely a very much of a possibility where this here would be the start of an ABC up for and towards that way Y. Depending on how low this goes, or if this is done now, we could be pivoting um, towards uh, some of that, uh, well, almost 40k targets. Um, it is going to be kind of stretch to the 40k, 1.618, could, which could mean that it is more impulsive than expected. But again, this is still on the, on the books and still as a possibility. One of the scenarios is that wave X is not done um, currently. It, we can look at this as a three-way structure coming down here and being complete, or that the wave X is not done, where it would be somewhere, something like this, where this would be that ABC, this would be ABC here, and now we'd be looking to get a impulse wave to the downside for that C wave, um, targeting at least this wave A lows. Um, Liquidity-wise, we'd be targeting this 24779 lows here uh, of around the 14th of June. Um, those both are still on the table. Um, so again, keep in mind, we don't really need to be trading this. Um, Time-wise, it kind of looks better if the wave X is not done. Um, however, again, we have hit the minimum target here. 32 has been hit even if the X was here. So again, I don't really mind either of those, but just to get a better proportion-wise, I kind of would like something like this a bit better. Um, this would be fitting into the idea of that uh, expanded flat uh, idea as well, where we'd be getting that three-way structure in here, uh, as well as a connector. Because if we are looking at this, uh, looking at the time, we have not even hit the 32 here. 23.6 has been hit, but again, it does not really give us any pivots uh, after the 23.6. So that's why I don't really like, um, like to say that this was uh, the three-way structure to be correcting whole of this move. It just doesn't feel right, not in the price sense and not in the um, in the sense of of time either. But yeah, those are the uh, couple of options there uh, for more bearish options where everything going up is a corrective structure. Now, if we want to be mega bull, there is always this kind of scenario where we would have fireways here, fireways here, fireways here, and that would be a one, two, one, two, one, two. Now this is super, super mega bullish. Um, 
if we would be just doing this as a three uh, one two one twos, obviously the invalidation for this is around the 24.8k lows here. Um, but if you were to uh, project some of this out and even just with the minuets counts here, let's take a look at it. Uh, fifth way would be here and then we would be getting another leg like so afterwards after pivoting. So that would be more than 50k probably um, if we are creating these normal looking wave structures, something like this. <clears throat> and again, that would be massive. Um, the likelihood of this happening though is less. Why? Is because once you start to see multiple of these one twos and one twos to be made, the less it is probable. However, RSI wise, there's nothing invalid about this. Our, there is actually very decent looking structure here that is still intact. Everything is in, intact here um, on four hour and probably in, on daily as well. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, we can see higher lows here constantly being created. Um, once this breaks down, then then that would be our first clue that, okay, this is not not a one, two, one, two, one, two. But we can start to keep an eye on that as well later on. But this is still very much intact. Everything is looking very decent still for this case. But again, is it probable? No. Uh, let's take a look at that uh, local time frame and see what kind of opportunities we've had. So depending on where you want to be uh, thinking of this fireware move here, is it done here? Or is this a one, two, three, four, five like so? And this would be then one, two, three, four and five with expanding diagonal like I've labeled in here. So that, don't mind about that um, if you're thinking this as a WXY because both are potential and possible. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that is one way to label the fifth one in here. And this is what I've had on the some of the other counts uh, I shared before. So with the idea in mind that we had was that we had this as an A and then looking for a liquidity sweep of these highs, we got that and we moved down, we back tested and get, went up again. And yeah, rejection here, easy, easy short here against the lows, oh sorry, the highs. And yeah, this really brought really good gains. Another opportunity that arised, uh, arose, I guess, um, is here later on. But the thing about this whole structure of thinking this as an ABC, although it fits very nicely, we took out the lows that we had for the wave A here. We took out the liquidity, we bounced up. However, we came up in three waves. So there's a couple of different ways of labeling this, either with a diagonal here or with a WXY like so. Again, it does not really matter. Three ways in either case. Then we had a uh, another uh, move to the downside. Now, this was not a sweep of the highs, these highs here. Um, I was originally expecting that to happen, but again, the rejection here looked kind of uh, kind of good. However, again, it kind of looked like three waves. That's why I did not enter here. But of course, as it broke down, we obviously can see that. Okay, this is a fireway move. This is clear as day. And yeah, I missed on, on that move completely. But it's all good. There's always more opportunities to come. And uh, as this was a move to the upside in three, and this is a move to the down in five, the, we can see that the prevalent trend is still to the downside. And what else did we get is a three wave again to the upside. At this point, again, uh, I was looking to take a shot here and against the highs here, because again, we did not have a good looking uh, move to the downside. Again, the signals are, are, are provided on CTC and not the trading with H. Uh, Discord, which is more of that educational side and the requests that you give me uh, for the uh, patrons and, and stuff like that. But in either case, this was the setup that I, I had last time and it's really printing out nicely. At this point, I'm really thinking that this is some kind of one, two, one, two. Or originally, I was thinking this more as some kind of um, uh, ABC because again, we got so close to one to one here. 
I think we actually hit it, but we came up again in three and you could have even had a scalp here, here, because this looked very nice here and then you would be just going against something here, a uh, very tight stop loss and, and then you'd be very much in profits. But again, I only took profits, uh, I think somewhere in here for the shorts, because again, um, it was the morning for me here. Um, but yeah, the short went decent and I'm still kind of hesitant to call whether this is a way four still or where we are done. At this point, this surely looks more like a three way at this point, but there is a way to look at this as five as well. Looking into this as a potential diagonal, having this come down into another one, two, and then and then move to the upside would be starting. Again, that is very possible on some old coins. Um, there has been a pretty much more clear uh, divergence at the lows. Of course, there is some here as well um, in here, but um, there has been like a couple of divergence on some old coins, which are again a bit better uh, signal for going long at this point. So again, taking care that there might be one liquidity sweep here as well still, uh, but I would not be expecting too much more. At this point, it is still kind of unclear to me what structure we are actually on. This being an ABC um, was a potential. However, if we are creating this as some kind of three wave, I don't know what this three wave could be part of. It's not, it for sure is not correcting this whole move. So I feel like it has to be correcting this move. 32 was hit. So maybe this is the first structure here and we would be getting one, two, three, four, five to create some kind of ABC here. I'm not sure how that originally fits into the idea, but of course this could become an AB, oh, sorry, a WXY where this last leg would be in, in, a, in an ABC. So again, that's why, oops, that's why I have the, uh, no, we, I don't, where do I have it here? I don't know where where that was pulled from. Okay, that was weird. But yeah, one to one, 28K. Um, that is definitely a possibility. But at this point, I'll, I'll, we could still be looking for this last leg in here. If this indeed is to become a fire wave here, we would be getting that last leg with divergences later on. I would be expecting this chop to go around for quite some time, even through the weekend here. Um, as this first structure over here took quite a long time. I'm not quite sure if that fits. But at this point, uh, I'm not in too much of a rush to get in on any trade because um, this structure is not really easy to read. And I don't know particularly, uh, I don't know what these structures are part of. At this point, again, we are hitting this uh, 1.6 right extension here. So again, that fits into the idea that we would have this as a one, two, and this would be a, a three to be completed or completed already. Um, we'll see how that turns out. But again, at this point, it's really not clear to me where we are at in, in the Elliott wave structures. But originally, or obviously at this point, I, I would be expecting this whole thing uh, to be completed sooner rather than later. Now, the only concern that we, I have here at this point is this higher time frame. Because this one to one here would be around 28k, uh, sorry. And the uh, extension of this higher uh, degree would be going closer to the two to one extension, which is definitely not typical for a WXY pattern. So that raises the question is this high here actually a peak of something before it? And if that is the case, this would be either an ABC or the start of something new. Of course, we could be thinking about diagonals and such, but it would be too early for that. Or this would be potential one, two, one, two. Now, again, it is very early on to call any of those, but I just want to make sure that you understand that there are so many different scenarios at this point still in play that it's really important to at least understand that this can actually be the start of a very massive move to the downside, which would be 
correcting some somewhat <laughs> something very large. Now, even if we're not looking at the logo structure, what would be that massive thing? Well, this is something that we had on the higher time frame, right? A, B, C, fireworks here. This would be fitting into that idea completely. And if that happens again, the price would drop yet another 15%. Alt would be dropping 30%. And although that would most likely provide us some opportunities in the future, uh, I just want to make sure that you understand that there is definitely a risk to the downside. But I think that is pretty much everything I wanted to cover on this video. Again, been quite a while since I created a proper update, update on Bitcoin and the higher time frame. So ho hope you understand and got again something out of that. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. If you're interested in more, check out the following advertisements. If not, that's all good. Um, and yeah, catch you in the next video. Bye bye. A couple of advertisements here Patreon, Elite Wave Basics course, weekly live streams, and more Elite Wave analyzers. Udemy Elite Wave Advanced Course, including RSI Risk Management, Elite Wave Strategies and Time Analysis, and Candle Trend Capital, Trade Setups, Education and Community. Check us out if you're interested in learning more.